tremendous envy for the regular season. But really, arguably the best regular season we've ever had. Um, again, a great team effort. When we were cold, our defense kept us in. Um, we kept you know, battling and battling and battling. And you know, they're a, a great, you know, they're an excellent team. And, you know, when you can hold, you know, and we just did it with Sienna the other day. When their best people are 3 for 11, 3 for 13, 4 for 15, you got a great chance to win. And, again, you know, I keep shouting to somebody and hoping that somebody would listen. But, you know, we're spearheaded by the best defensive player, arguably, between her and, and Elisa. I haven't seen two better defensive players. And. You know, the rest of the team defense, you know, we've been able to handle guards. I thought what Maria and, you know, and that was something different today we were a little nervous about is putting somebody like Maria and Kate on Taryn Johnson. And, you know, they've just done an incredible job. And so when we're not shooting the ball well, our defense has been stalwart, you know, and then you know, fitting as it's been all year, somebody else steps up. And today, Kate Oliver obviously had a run there where she was just unstoppable and they had no answer for her. And it took a relatively six to eight point game and put it up into 15, 17 points. You know, again, Erica had the type of game, a solid 11 points, but again, six assists, no turnovers. And Maria came in in her first start this year and, you know, got the first bucket of the game to get us going and, you know, did a tremendous job. So, you know, a lot of people, when they saw our recruiting class with this class, you know, kind of said, eh, not a real great class. And they're going to leave here with the best record ever. Because I think today ties the overall number of wins and there's no way we're losing four games over the rest of the year. So it's better than last year's. And they can get the NCAA tournament, get to the Sweet 16, they'll have everything that the last group had. And, you know, for me, it's, it's just tremendous satisfaction to see what a team can do. A lot of people always looked at us as Rachel, Rachel, and then everybody else. And this group of kids, you know, was Rachel a tremendous loss? Absolutely, the greatest loss in the history of the program. And these kids didn't skip a beat. To not only win 18 in the conference, go 18 and 0, but to win 17 of them by double digits, and to play the team that had held you to a single-digit win, two-point win, you to come back and to you know, play as well as we did today, it's I couldn't be happy, especially for these seniors. Particularly with the layoff now until until the MAC tournament, how important was it to play a, a pretty tight game for most of the? The, the game leading into the MAC tournament instead of just having like a blowout later? Well, I think it's extremely important. I, I've been, you know, been dying for one. You know, playing them the first time was great. And you know, I've been kind of jealous with Loyola, who's always had those real tough games and you're battle tested down the stretch. And, you know, that's one of the things that we have to worry about down the stretch. If we get into a real tough battle down the stretch, is where, where are we going to execute? And so, I mean, it was a great game. They're a very, very you know, good basketball team. He's a tremendous coach. So I like that it was tight. And I, I like that it was tight here with our crowd behind us. The only thing that would add it perfect on the day is if Erica would have hit the three. <laughs> <laughs> that would have brought the house down. But again, it was tremendous. Uh, the support that we get here, and the support that came out for these seniors is just, you can't beat it. You just can't find a better place. You mentioned the record that these three have amassed on the court, off the court. What have these three meant to not just you, but the program in general? Pain is a no. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, they've met quite a, you know, quite a bit. They, you know, they're going to graduate, you know, and they've done well in the classroom, relatively well. Uh, <laughs> um, they, they've just been part of the team chemistry that we have here. You know, the freshmen tend to gravitate towards them. Um, you know, 
we'd have practice, you know, you get to this time of the year and practices can be like pulling teeth. It's those dog days of August kind of thing in, in February. And, you know, Erica, you know, took them aside the other day, and Aaron and Maria, and, and just said, guys, we got to get it going. And, boy, they really showed it this weekend. They played two good teams, and they played them very, very tough. Sienna in their gym and, and Fairfield here. Where you to get the opening bucket today? What did that do? Just energize you even more? If you needed, uh, more? just probably just a little bit of a relaxer. Um, it just definitely, I was just, I was just ready to go, and and that definitely uh, uh, put the ease on things when I was able to just go right up with it and went in. Coach, with with Kate's 19 points today, is this a benchmark in her development as a player? You know, I it's a really good question, and I think it is because you know coming from Australia, and anybody here knows. Kate hasn't seen a perimeter shot she doesn't love, okay? <laughs> she likes it, she, you know, but that's what they're used to with the trapezoid lane and everything else. And, and we worked hard, and she's worked hard, to develop an inside game. And I'll tell you, if this game was last year with her this time, instead of being 8 for 11, she might have been 2 or 3 for 11. You know, but she has felt more and more comfortable. She's gotten physical in there, and, you know, and she's finished. And, you know, like I say, when you can put both of those things together, the last couple of games she's found her stroke again, where, like I told her the other day, even her misses are nice misses. She's got the nice arc on the ball. It's not hitting the back rim and clanging out 20 feet. Um, you know, and that helps. But the thing, you know, the other development of her, too, and when you have two people like this, I mean, Maria's always been able to rebound and block shots, but now, you know, she had a couple more today, and she had about 18 over the last three games before that. I mean, when people drive, we've been blocking shots. And it just helps, I, I think, today, what we hold 30.5%. People actually had a good shooting. I mean, 25% with CN, and you go back and look at a number, some of these numbers, and we've held people. So, um, you know, you kind of hope that it's like, you know, passing the torch down, but it really today showed Kate's development as an inside player.